Hi, little one. Of course, you won't make an appearance for about six months now, but uh, I thought you'd like to meet your family. I'm your daddy. Can you say daddy? Gucci, Gucci, go. <laughs> and here, uh, here is your mommy. And here is you. <laughs> Hello in there. <laughs> mommy, why don't we call the kids down and tell them that you're pregnant? Kids, kids, come on down. We have a big surprise for you. Oh, check it out, LAPD, the home game. <laughs> oh, we're making a movie. Here, check it out, Uncle Phil. Oh. and I can't get up. <laughs> Will. Kids, oh, come on now, brace yourself. I have some very important news for you. OK, but I'm living with the one who keeps the house. <laughs> no, 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 we're not getting a divorce, stupid. <laughs> we're having a baby. Oh, you and you? Oh, this is serious. We're having a baby. Yeah, they ain't laughing, y'all. Okay, I think I speak for everyone when I say, ew. <laughs> and I'm not babysitting. <laughs> I'm not changing diapers. And I'm not sharing my trust fund. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> now, kids, I have great news. We're going to have a baby. Yay. <laughs> now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said, pressing it a dice in the mirror. If anything, I can say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it, yo, home's the Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about 